Hi, this is the Toy Kaiju Critics, and today I'm reviewing a toy that can walk to the studio. It only could walk faster. Oh well, I'll just what I mean. There he is. Walking to the studio. No hands. No. I ain't moving him around. See? Nothing. Nothing. It's made of rubber. Highly flexible. And he is. Might as well just stop it now. Alright. So, might as well do comparison. Now, I think this is an 8 inch. Well, it's a walkable, but yeah, I don't quite. No, it's not the best with 6 inches. It goes. I think it goes good with the other one. Other walkables, but I don't have any other ones, so. I'm gonna bring on Mecha Gears. Because this is not made for Godzilla 2 Fasten, but it was made that's pure from Godzilla. Uh, X Mega Gears or versus Mega Gears, so yeah. And we based off it only used that uh, basically they just made it off of him, so can't pair it up with Orga. And it's a good thing because Orgos are just too expensive to buy anymore. Got one, good for you. We've got an eBay to like forty one dollars or something. Yeah, actually this is accurate. Totally accurate. This, this is missed articulation from my Mega Gears review. Oh well. So yes, I, this is actually accurate. Surprisingly, yes. Basically, detail. The only real flaws I noticed is the fact that it's green. If you're doing the dark, you might avoid that issue. And that the spikes have sir silver painting on them. But he looks pretty wicked. He looks really cool. Perfect for like a clone of Godzilla, Evil Godzilla. Which I use in my Kaiju World series as Evil Godzilla. Which I haven't used him in a while. i uh, bring him back in. It'd be cook up, bro, and he makes a mess, next mess up. If you actually been listening and remembering. Had you word and what's in each episode, which are you? Because I make them. Come on, here it's kind of obvious. So, yeah, basically, I think it's gonna be the one who cooks ever once it happens. It's not gonna be the next episode, but yeah, when it happens, because it's definitely going to ever will eventually mess up again. So, yes, only two flaws on detail, but yeah, comparison. Perfect. And I should start writing down how it's doing. Now, only if I can find a pencil. Dang it. Oh, here's a pen. I guess it's a pen right here. Yes, a pen. I got lucky. Alright. Oh, yeah. Becky got a review. Actually, it's four stars. I guess I forgot the tail art doesn't have an articulation. Oh well. Okay, this thing actually has ink. I got pressed down really hard. So, good comparison, I think. It probably is. Detail, hmm, two flaws. Everything else is like perfect. Absolutely perfect. So, yeah, I'm just gonna give it a full since it's got amazing, um, amazing mold. And paint job on everything else besides the skin and the spikes. Yeah. I think it deserves a star. Like. And for articulation. 100%. It's readily made of rubber. And it wax. So that's like three stars or something. Amazing. 
ones needed will be accurate articulation and finally the fact that it walks by itself gives it one more extra star. This was a crazy fast review. Holy cow. My next kite I'm gonna this review my next kaiju battle. Gamera versus Gaza. And I'm working on the poster. I'm, yeah, I'm actually gonna make one. Wait. So you were gonna sell it on eBay or something like copies of it. Oh well. That's just like a future thing. So I have a total counting. He's gotten um apparently a five out of five because he is unlike any figure. He walks. That was no like in his guy situation everywhere. He is so is like an actual Godzilla right there. And he is just so cool. I think he deserves this. I could be wrong. Yeah, but you haven't seen the flaws, okay? But perfect for like a cold or evil Godzilla. Now we're not a waste of money. I think there's still a comic. Really hard to find on eBay, but I think there's one. It might have been sold already. I don't know. I already got one, so I'm not looking for it. I just come across it when I'm on Claw Mark every here and there. So, yes. Woohoo. And he walks away in glory. Oh, yeah. I forgot one thing. He can actually hold a lightsaber. Yes, I know. None of you saw that coming. If you did. You protect the future. Okay. Yeah, it took me forever to figure out how to put it on, though. Okay. I'm... Yes, I got it! He's holding it right there. Holy cow! He says it's his enemies. Oh, dang it. All right, Jedi Godzilla. I think he comes with a box if you get him on Claw That's how I did, but they show the box and some pictures of him. But oh, wow. this is him. Okay, you've seen it. This is totally highly recommended. This scene is awesome. It doesn't. It just have a. Board up place on your shelf. It deserves an awesome place. You know, don't like on top of your TV. Uh, something that's better than a bookshelf, okay? Maybe, uh, like, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I give him it. Not that I give him a place, but I don't have really any other good other place to put him, okay? I don't have that many good places to put them. I can't put them down here. Because it's pretty cold down here. Pretty cold here. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So, that's it for the review. You know my next video, Gamer vs. Galsa. Get ready to see that it might take me a while. Let's hope it turns out that King Dora vs. Galsa. I'm planning to add rules for the whole thing. Unless well, I send them on the water again, but not in the plans. Yet! If you want, if you want them to be on underwater, get underwater battle. I pulls open. I can actually put them underwater. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I can, but I'll see if I can. So yes, comment if you want it. They're underwater.